Hi everyone, my name is Nick and today I'm going to show you guys how you can easily add QR codes into Microsoft PowerPoint, Microsoft Word or Microsoft Excel. And this is a super easy to follow tutorial, so if you do find it useful, uh, then you know what to do. Uh, and with that said, let's jump on over to um, Microsoft PowerPoint. Okay, so here we are just inside my PowerPoint presentation and on this particular slide that's uh, branded for that office guy, I'd like to add a QR code and the QR code will directly take people to my YouTube channel. Um, so there's a couple of ways you can do this and the easiest way uh, to add a QR code into any of the kind of uh, Microsoft Office applications is to first of all head over to the insert tab on the ribbon here. Um, from the ribbon uh, insert tab head over to the add-ins section um, and don't worry this uh, add-in is completely free. If you go ahead and click on add-ins uh, this will load up the add-in section and here we just want to go and search for QR codes. So if I type QR code and press enter the thing that we want, so the add-in that we want here is the QR code for Office, uh, this one just here. We're going to go ahead and click on Add. This will then um, add it into the application. First of all, it wants you to basically agree to their license terms and privacy policy. Um, for the most part, this is perfectly fine, but do recommend you guys read everything before you go ahead and click on Continue. Once you're happy with the terms and conditions and the privacy policy, go ahead and click Continue. If you're not happy with that, you can just cancel that from there. Uh, obviously if you cancel you will not be able to add the QR codes in um, but if you are happy with the terms and conditions in the privacy policy do go ahead and click on continue. Okay, with that done, um, the application itself or, or the add-in will actually open up here on the right-hand side. Now, if I click that a close, um, what we can do is actually head back over to the ribbon here, click on the Insert tab, go over to My Add-ins, give that a click. This will open up all of your add-ins here, and we can go ahead and click the add-in that we want to actually open and just click on Add, and that will then open up the uh, QR code generator over here on the right-hand side. Now, from the... Uh, uh, options here there's a couple of things just to note one is you kind of have to give an idea as to what it is that you're trying to create is it uh, a HTTP is it HTTPS which is the one I would recommend if you're going to go doing any uh, website stuff you want to make sure it is secure um, and it is encrypted with an SSL um, I don't tend to trust anything on a HTTP uh, this day and age it's easy enough that all uh, professional grade websites should be generating a uh, SSL certificate so then may make sure that you use the HTTPS um, rather than HTTP. Um, with that said though, you also have the ability to do a mail to, a telephone number, an SMS, a geolocation, or a custom code altogether. Now from here, obviously you have the ability to um, basically select the correct one. So I'm gonna go with HTTPS, and then I'm gonna go ahead and type in youtube.com slash that office guy. Okay, so that's going to be my QR code. The next thing we have is a couple of options here is what colors do we want the background to be and what color do we want all the black bars to be here? So, you know, we do have these options to choose from. So um, if I wanted to kind of keep it in branding, I could go ahead and, you know, choose red, for example, when it would look like this uh, with a white background. Um, I might actually go with a black background in that scenario or something to that effect. But generally speaking, you'll probably want to keep this black and white. Uh, therefore, most people will know and understand exactly what the QR code is and how to use it. Okay, and once you're happy with all of that, I'm going to um, just obviously have the, the size here. We can change the size. Um, and we can see it's either going to be, I'm going to want it to round, yeah, 290 by 290 pixels is a reasonable size. Um, you want to make sure that it's big enough to be captured. So once you're happy with, um, you know, you've got the right URL in there, you have um, the correct uh, colors that you would like, uh, and you've got the size incorrect, you can go ahead and insert. So also with a, a website, you, it's optional. If you want to, you can do the www dot, um, but it's very unnecessary this day and age to do that. Um, most professional websites would allow for both the uh, www uh, dot without and with, uh, in the same ways that um, HTTP would work with a HTTPS. Um, so just make sure you have those right settings enabled. Once you're happy with everything, just go ahead and click insert. And then we have our QR code just here. And I can adjust this down if it was a little tad too big there. And I can just include that on my slide. Now I have a QR code that if I scan will take me directly 
directly to a That Office Guy channel on YouTube. Now, the same process, uh, you can follow it for uh, Word. So I'm just gonna load up Microsoft Word here and we're gonna go through the same thing. I'm just gonna click on the blank document. I'm gonna head over to the insert uh, tab here now just check to make sure, yeah. So because we've added it into one application, it's added automatically into all of the other applications as well. So I'm gonna click this, a click here, and I'm gonna click add. And again, we're gonna have the same scenario. We're gonna come over here, we're going to change this to HTTPS, and then I'm gonna go and type in youtube.com slash that office guy dot, yeah, just that office guy. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is adjust the size so I can make it the 290 by 290 pixels. Um, and then I'm gonna leave that as black and white. And now I'm gonna click insert and now I have a QR code uh, in Microsoft Word. Now I can obviously just readjust this. Now the other thing to bear in mind is you can't necessarily just move this wherever you want in Word. You have to just quickly here adjust. Um, so I can basically pull it in front of the text and now I can move it around anywhere I would like on the page. Um, so now I have a QR code and I can add this into a Word document of my choice. Um, and yeah, basically people can be navigated over to um, my uh, YouTube channel. Okay, and then the last one we're gonna do is we're just gonna click on uh, Excel here and we're going to do the same thing again. We're gonna go over to the insert tab of the ribbon here. We're gonna to go to my add-ins and I'm gonna click on the QR for office. Okay, and then click add. Um, this is then gonna load up the application over here. I'm gonna change this to HTTPS. I'm gonna then go to youtube.com slash that office guy okay and then i'm going to leave this as black and white um, and i'm also going to adjust the size to the 290 by 290 pixels and click insert this now obviously works like an image inside excel and i can drag this wherever i need uh, this qr code to be and now this QR code is included in a document. I can share this document and everyone will be navigating over to um, that office guy's YouTube channel. Um, so QR codes are very, very useful um, and they serve a lot of different functions that are very, very good uh, for getting people over to websites or um, you know, if you have a support email address rather than then type in the email address, if it's quite a long-winded domain, you can use a QR code to scan it. It will open up the um, email client that's installed on the phone, for example, and they can send an email directly to uh, the, the email address of the choice, right? Um, same with telephone numbers. You can have it dial a telephone number, you can have it send a message, and there's a lot you can do with QR codes. So well worth checking out how they work, how you can embed them into some of these documents that you use on a regular basis. If you guys found this video useful and informative, uh, then you know what to do. And with that said, I will catch you guys in the next video.